I'm Ryan, and my life is average. Now, I bet you didn't expect to hear that on your 2023 bingo card. Uh, but here I am. How are you? It's Ryan. It's been almost five years since I've made a video on this channel, and I wanted to come in here, drop a video, and just say hello, update you on some things, let you know I'm still alive, and kind of explain what the heck happened to this channel. What happened to my life? How am I still alive without this YouTube channel? Well, I'll explain all of that, but hope everybody is good. Hope you're having a good holiday uh, to the hundred people that watch this video. It's great to see. You. I hope you're happy and healthy. As you can see, my background, you're like, wow, what is this? A sh you look like a Twitch streamer. Well, that's because I am. Okay. I am a Twitch streamer. We'll get into that, but that's why there's just things everywhere. I've never, you know, shied away from my love for just having random crap all over my room, um, including wrestling figures and Pokemon never go away but wow yeah been a long time what happened okay well i started to not like youtube and where youtube was going and where this channel was going this channel was my baby i started it in what like 2012 2013 and this channel kind of grew really fast and unexpectedly and you know uh that was exciting but also pretty scary for me and as Time went on, YouTube started to evolve, my humor and content started to evolve, and then I started feeling like this channel got to a place where I didn't even know what the direction was. I was just following trends, or I was clickbaiting or doing things that I never used to do on YouTube and didn't like to do because I felt like it was inauthentic. I started YouTube because it was fun to me and it was an escape, and because YouTube was going towards the whole, you know, Mr. Beast you know, world and people were commenting like, Ryan, you got to do more videos with upping your budget and this and that. And it just made me sad because YouTube started to be, to be full of fake things and fake drama and big money. And it just wasn't what I wanted. And I could see that happening. And I just didn't want to kill the channel because it was already at the point where I was getting comments of like, damn, 10,000 views and 500,000 subs, which at the time I used to be really insecure about. Because, you know, just because you, you might be a viewer of a channel, but this this is the channel. Like, this is this was my life. So when I would read things like that, being a washed-up YouTuber or whatever, um, it used to cut deep. And I needed to get away from this channel and kind of start a new era in my life. And, you know, I feel like most YouTube channels have a shelf life. It's pretty rare for a channel to be successful for a really long period of time because people get older and mature or evolve and what they like evolves their the amount of time they have is way less than it used to be for all of us and that's just uh kind of how i felt and i didn't want to run this thing into the ground more than it already was and i had to figure out what i was going to do so what i did was i started working uh more with the dolan twins ethan and grayson and around 2020 um, after working with them for a couple years, they asked me to work on their podcast with them, help uh, produce it and co-host it with them. And uh, I moved to L.A. and I moved to Los Angeles in February of 2020, one month before the pandemic started. So it couldn't have been better timing. Um, so I had one month here where everything was normal and then things went crazy and the world went crazy and I went crazy. And it was a wild time full of anxiety and stress in my life. And uh, the podcast was doing great um, until it wasn't, until things started getting a little hairy because that's what happens in the industry. Things just get uh, overwhelming. And I was like, okay, I think I'm going to leave. I think I'm going to quit that because, you know, I look, I started on YouTube uh, making random video responses in 2008. Then I made... Uh, song parodies. Anybody that remembers for skits and giggles, the 10 of you that do, that was a great era for mine. Then we had th this channel, Ryan, uh, Ryan's Average Life. I had SDK, my collab channel, Settle Down Kids. All of those things have came and went, and that's just kind of the way things happen on the internet, right? They come and go in waves. And that wave ended for me. But then I was in LA, and I was like, what am I doing? I had basically no money, and let me tell you, LA is very expensive, okay? It's incriminatingly expensive. Um... And that's when my friends and I started to play Among Us. Uh, my buddy JC Kalen really had it popping on Twitch and uh, started doing that. 
And here I am in almost 2024, uh, but three years later, I've been doing Twitch now for three years and it's my full-time gig. But if you don't know what Twitch is, I'm not talking like body Twitches. I do get those though. Magnesium helps. But uh, Twitch is like a live streaming platform and I'm not like a big gamer or anything. I usually do reactions, basically what I loved doing on YouTube. So I stream five days a week on Twitch and then I have a reaction channel from that Twitch where I upload content. And I also upload exclusive content off stream. That channel is called Ryan's Average Reactions. Huh? I kept the kept the dream alive, and I just started a gaming channel uh, for my Sims content because I play the one game I play on Twitch is The Sims. I love The Sims; it's so fun. And I just started a gaming channel called Ryan's Average Games. Can't get away from it. So that has been what I have been doing. I found some decent success on Twitch, which has been really amazing. And I am proud of myself for that. It has been a journey that has been a wild one. But yeah, I, I still live in Los Angeles. I live with JC. If you don't know who JC Kalen is, he was from O2L, Keenan and JC. I live with him. I live with my buddy Crawford Collins, Brian Tarada. But I'm still friends with a lot of people that I met through this channel. Still cool with Jesse and Gina. Hung out with Jesse not too long ago. Was in one of his videos where he put me in like a real life podcast. Or no, it was like a, a video game podcast. I don't know. It was crazy. It was nuts, but it was fun. Still talk to Ethan and Grayson. Still have all of my friends from SDK and the O2L days. Try to keep in touch with everybody. And it's been a wild ride. Um, I do clothing uh, more often now. I actually have a drop coming out today. This is literally it. My brand, Nervous for No Reason. Because of my 10 milligrams of Lexapro I have to take a day, this obviously... It's home to me, and this giant uh, thing of pills and vitamins and minerals that help me calm down in life. But, yeah, I just wanted to say what's up. I'm not saying that this is like a return to the channel. Maybe. We'll see. Once again, I do feel like there are probably only be 500 viewers on this, which, once again, is great. It's been a long time. I don't care how many subscribers are on this channel. Um I'm just appreciative if anybody watches this, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm doing well, and I hope that you're doing well. I hope you've been thriving. Um, I hope that you're finding a lot about yourself out um, and growing as a person, and you know, no matter what you're doing, I'm rooting for you, because if you're a supporter of mine, I'm definitely a supporter of yours, and I just wanted to kind of let you know that, yeah, I left this channel because I had to. I had to for my mental health and for myself and to move on from this chapter and evolve into the chapter that I'm in currently, which is one that I'm, I'm really happy with and proud of. And I don't think I would have gotten there if I kept trying to force this kind of YouTube content on this channel just because it had a big number of subs or nostalgia or a lot of views or whatever. I just this channel meant a lot to me and always will still means a lot to me. And I didn't want to just bury it and go that route. So I made sure to just cut ties with it when I felt like that was happening. Not to say the videos were bad or anything. I still get a, like laugh and giggle at the older videos from even the last couple I made, but I think it was time and that's fine. It happens. I'll leave a bunch of links in the description. If you feel like following me on some things, if you want to check out the journey now, like my Twitch would love to have your support on there. Uh, the reaction channel or the brand new Sims channel that I just made. If any of that, content is something that you're like oh yeah that's that's cool uh that'd be great i would love to have you uh aboard those ventures and once again i just hope you're doing well have a great holiday maybe i'll see you again on this channel you never know uh but until then i'll talk to you guys soon and hey stay average